We believe that in our country there shall be no minority, there shall be no majority, there shall just be people. The circumstances behind Steve Biko's death still remain unclear. But the Biko family is determined to find the answers. The first steps have already been taken. We're delighted, for instance, that the Timor family matter has come forth, the Hafiji matter has come forth, the Alata matter has come forth. We consulted with uh, representatives of the Hawks uh, late last year, and the matter has now been referred to the regional branch here in East London. We are awaiting those investigators to come and spend time with us in our archives and hopefully soon we can get the Biko matter also uh, moving forward. The Biko family also believes the government is not giving the Steve Biko matter the attention it deserves. There is absolutely no doubt that our political leadership has been negligent on this matter. In fact, uh, not just negligent, they have interfered with uh, justice. Uh, two courts have pronounced on what they call political interference. The North Gauteng High Court, uh, as well as the South Gauteng High Court, have found that there were processes of the state that prevented the prosecution of about 300 cases that were referred by the TRC for prosecution. Preparations for the 21st Steve Biko Annual Memorial Lecture are also in full swing. The director of the World Health Organization, Dr. Matsidi Somueti, will deliver the keynote address virtually. Abongile Yankees, SABC News, Kongwe.